I posted a video a short while back in which I took care of the argument that some Christian fundamentalists are quite fond of and that goes something along the lines of well you know God has warned us very clearly that if you don't reject Jesus as your savior well then you willingly willingly walk into the path of harm and if anything bad happens to you well we told you so didn't we and I countered that but with a 23 second video that's all it took of a bottle of slug pellets and pointing out that while I would certainly warn my child not to touch them and not to eat them because of how dangerous they are we also have and I turned it around a child resistant cap that will actually physically stop the child from accessing the poison inside the bottle now some Christian fundamentalists if they see that video might think that they can be clever around this and that they can respond to that by pointing out that if God were to put a child resistant cap or the equivalent thereof upon reality stopping people from committing acts of evil resist, rejecting Jesus as your savior, savior is an act of evil but anyway never mind that um, stopping people from committing acts of evil then that would interfere with their free will sounds like a good argument doesn't it except if that is the real reason why God tolerates the committing of acts of evil then there should not be any restrictions on reality that prevent people from committing acts of evil should there and the problem is that there are allow me to demonstrate because it is something that is very easy to demonstrate I'm going to pretend in this case but rest assured that the outcome would be exactly the same if this were real that there is a button right there on the ceiling and if I press that button an intercontinental ballistic missile will fire and go straight to Washington DC and wipe out a million people and I'm evil and I'm going to press that button right now watch me press the button Okay, I can't press the button. Why? Well, it appears that there is a restriction on reality preventing me from committing my evil act. The ceiling is too high. Or maybe I am too short. Or maybe my leg muscles are too weak. I don't know. Take your pick. But the thing is, there are restrictions upon reality that prevent me from committing certain evil acts under certain circumstances. I am sometimes physically prevented from doing what I want to do if I'm that way inclined, if I were evil, if I actually wanted to harm people I couldn't because I can't reach the button for example it's a stupid example it's a silly example but you catch my drift you the fundamentalist Christian claim to believe in this omnipotent God who could theoretically who has theoretically according to your mythology got the power to intercede in reality and to make me do one thing or stop me doing another thing and yet that God does not prevent me from committing one act of evil for example going out there 
grabbing an innocent child off the street and committing unspeakable acts of depravity on that child if somebody were thus inclined that your God does not prevent but I couldn't reach a simple button on a ceiling because it's just a little bit too high something doesn't add up here and it isn't reality